What's going on everyone? This is Tao and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Kali Linux on Windows 10 using Windows Subsystem for Linux version 2 and the WinCAX GUI to give you GUI access or graphical user interface access to a Kali instance on your Windows machine without actually running a virtual machine. This integrates really well with Windows and it's super great. I've been using it for my penetration testing activities for the past month or so, and I have to say it's really, really nice, giving me the benefits of using Windows for when I need to do things like video editing, photo editing with Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, while also having access to my Kali Linux tools such as Metasploit, Nmap, etc. That sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. All right guys, I'm back post haircut, and now we're gonna jump on the computer and actually take a look at installing Kali Linux on Windows. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is open your PowerShell as administrator. So you just click, right click, run as administrator. As you can see, I have it open right here. And we'll run the first command, which is dism.exe slash online slash enable feature slash feature names colon Microsoft dash Windows dash subsystem dash Linux slash all slash no restart. You just run this and it'll and it will enable the Windows system for Linux feature on your Windows PC. The next thing we'll do is dsim.exe slash online slash enable feature slash feature name colon virtual machine platform slash all slash no restart. And it's DISM, not DSIM. And that runs pretty quickly. Now, you can go to the first link in the description below, which is a link to download the Windows subsystem for Linux update that you'll need to do to convert your Windows subsystem for Linux over to WSL2. Run that, and once it's done, you should be able to run WSL dash dash set dash default version space two and there you go you can also want to run wsl dash dash list dash dash verbose to see everything you have running you can see i have some docker stuff and then my cali links all of which are version two so the next thing you're going to want to do is open up the microsoft store search cali Click here, and then if it's not already purchased, a button right here will be to purchase and install. It's free, so just click install. Also, while it's installing, go ahead and type in terminal, and go right here, and install the Windows terminal. As you can see, it's already installed for me, so I'll go ahead and I'll close this and open up my terminal. This is how it looks after some customization. If you guys want a video on how to customize your Windows terminal, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make a video on how to do so. Now, once you get Kali installed, so once you have completed your Kali Linux install, go ahead and exit that window and open up the Windows terminal and navigate to the Kali Linux tab. Then we'll run sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. This updates and upgrades our Kali Linux installation. Go ahead and click yes. Just let that run. It doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so now it's done. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is do sudo apt install dash y Kali dash win dash kex. And as you can see, I've already installed it. But for you, you'll be able to click yes and have it install everything. If you want to have all the tools installed, go ahead and type sudo apt install Kali dash Linux dash default. And I've already have all of them installed like it suggests me to do. I'll do sudo apt auto remove. Every so often you might want to do this to remove packages that you really don't need installed. Now you have Kali Linux running on your Windows PC via Windows subsystem for Linux 2. However, at this point, you pretty much only have a command line, at least right now. You have installed WinCAX, which will allow you to use a GUI if you so choose. 
So you can start it in the full mode by, I'll just do sudo kegs dash dash win dash s. Dash dash win says, let's put it in a window and dash s says, let's enable sound support. So we'll just enter in our password and verify again. There we go. So we just created a password. And now we have our Kali window subsystem for Linux. As you can see, we have our tools up here on the whole thing. So now we can go to the term and do kex dash stop. Like so. And now it stopped. So the really thing you can do, and I'm moving my recycle bin down just a bit, is dash dash sl dash s. Enabling SL mode. And here we are. Now we have Kali Linux and Windows subsystem for Linux completely blended together, like on operating system almost. So I can pretty much just minus the terminal. As you see, I have my Kali Linux menu up here. I can do things like go to Metasploit framework Let's just click run that. And as you can see, it's in a little special window. We'll just enter my password. Creating initial database schema. And you can see my cursor changes a bit whenever I'm above it. Hmm. Okay, so apparently I had a bit of an error. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect. Um, in individual cases, you might have some errors, but the cool thing is I can run things like Burp Suite. From Kali Linux. And then I can go down here to my Windows menu and say open up something that doesn't work, such as Adobe Creative Cloud. And they pretty much run side by side. We'll just close the updater. And as you can see, they run completely side by side. Something that has never been able to happen before. This primary thing is why I've been using Windows Subsystem for Linux as my primary penetration testing operating system for the past couple of months. I'm um, really the past month to two weeks to a month um, as I more recently discovered this and found this to be very useful for me in my situation where I need the Creative Cloud apps. Uh, I need some of the things that Windows offers but I still need the penetration testing tools that Kali Linux provides. Now, if I didn't really like how everything looks on this, um, you know, and wanted my dedicated Kali Linux GUI, then I could obviously just go and do the full screen mode and then I, it's no big deal. But this blend of the two operating systems is really, really awesome. Huge thanks to the Kali Linux team for making this available to everyone and for working so hard to get this to work. Also thanks to the team over at Microsoft who made Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 possible as both of those things working together without of those, it would not be possible. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. I'm Tao and I'll see you in the next video.